So I think last class we discussed about this, right? Cockroach, earthworm, yes, frog. Yes, sir. Frog is an amphibian. So different. Um, whenever it is on the earth surface, it will take the respiration with the help of lungs. Whenever it is in the water, it will do it with the help of the moisture skin, right? Breathing under the water. Fish also we have done. Yes, sir. Right. It is happening with the help. Yes, of so we have to start from dolphins and whales. Yeah, dolphins and the whales. So, Rago, can you read the paragraph completely? Yes, ma'am. Um, yes, sir. Sea animals like dolphins and whales live in water, but unlike fishes, they do not possess gills for respiration. These possess nostrils, which are called blowholes. Their blowholes are located on the upper parts of their heads. These animals breathe in through their nostrils and lungs. Dolphins and whales. Uh, come to the surface of sea water from time to time to breathe in air. Sometimes whales release a function of water that moves upwards. Like that, this is because uh, when a whale breathes air out of its blowhole, it appears as a spray or mist, also called as a canyon from many miles away. Blowholes are surrounded by muscles that keep the holes closed when the whales or dolphins are underwater and open it when the animal is at the surface and needs to breathe. The human cannot survive underwater because they do not possess any gills to make use of oxygen dissolved in water. We have to take oxygen. Sir, I finished. Sir, I joined just now, so can you tell me what happened? So just wait a minute. Um, we'll see one picture. We'll see one video of that, small video only. Okay, sir. Can you see the screen now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whale breathed off large nostril flaps called blow yes, sir, holes can under the tops of their heads. Most whales have one blowhole, but some have two. When a whale comes up for air, it opens its blowhole and snorts air out so fast and sends up a huge spray. What is this part? Here the whale is there, volcano. Right? volcano. Great. Who is that? No, oh, it's, uh, it's from the whales. Uh, not me. I didn't say it. It's That's not. Sir. Okay, it's not no, volcano. Someone knows like it's a volcano, <laughs> sir. Okay, it's not no, the mountain. It's not the mountain. Okay, it's a whale. From the whale blowhole, volcano will not come out lava no. and all. Okay. So, this is a whale. So, yeah. when you take the top of this body of this whale, they have the, maybe it will contain one hole or the two holes. Okay. From these holes only, it will contain the nostrils and the, it will connect it to the lungs. So, whales and the dolphins, we don't have the gills to do the respiration process. So, whenever it comes to the surface of the water, it will take the air. Okay. Again, it will go under the water and it will leave under the water. Whenever the air is required again, it will, again it will come back to the surface of the water. So whenever it is releasing the air, okay, whenever it is releasing the air, or we can say whenever it is respired out the air, we can see the air in the form of mist. That is only this form. Can you see the here some uh, smoke like thing, right? Yes. That is only the Yes sir. That smoke is the air. It's not the smoke, it's the mist. It's a, whenever it is doing the breathing out process. Okay, this is a whale. So you can see here white color part right around the arrow. You see the arrow? These are the blow holes. Yeah, yes, sir. This is, that's the hole actually, the blow hole. So whale breathe through a large nostril flaps called blow holes on the top of their heads. 
most whales have one blow hole some some has a two so when a whale comes up for air it opens its blow holes and snores air out so fast so it sends up a huge spray whenever it is sending the air very fast outside whatever the water is there nearby that it will form the mist one so it looks like this one right it's not the volcano good started a new year with volcano and all then it breathes in deeply and causes it yeah then it also release the sound it also release Very telling clouds are released high, like a lot of pressure. Okay, but your voice is not clear to me. It's blow hole to dive again. Come on, mine sir. Yeah, it's like yours. Okay. Same okay. right video. Enough. It's not here. How does the video? That's what explained in this paragraph. Just go through it once again. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Sir, can you tell the names of which they release? Sorry. Sir, you can tell that the processing name, like uh, they are releasing out, right? With the help of the organ, the organ name. Same lungs and the nostrils will be there. How it is there in the case of human beings? Okay. Now, can you see the paragraph? Dolphins and the whales also have the same lungs and the nostrils, but our nostrils we can breathe it out easily, right? Our yeah, nose, nose, and the other nose, the other two nostrils. Yeah, sir. Sir, but they will uh, take a time and uh, they breathe out. Yeah, the capacity of the lungs in the case of dolphins and the whales is very large, so it can hold a large amount of air at the same time. Our capacity of the lungs is low, right, compared to that, so we breathe faster. So it will take some air from the outside when it's surface, and it will go down under the water. It will live for some time, and again it will come back to the surface of the water to expire out and to take the fresh air. Okay. You are ready, ready? Doubt? No, 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 no. You raise your hand, right? Okay. So whatever the mist portion we are seeing. Whenever the air is expiring out of the veil, is called as a spot. Okay. What I'm asking. So we can see this one from the large distance also. Whenever the veils are there in the sea, we can see this type of um fog or the spot from the large distance. And you can observe. You can also hear that sound. One uh, sound will come whenever the expiring of the veils of the dolphins. So the women cannot survive under the water because they don't have any. Kills like the fish. Sir? Yeah. Sir, but suppose uh, when when a ship is going and uh, when uh, the the whale comes up, then it will hurt, right? So then it will die. It depends upon. No, it doesn't uh, die because it has the lungs, so it will come up, oh, sir, breathe, and it will go down again. No, it depends upon the type of. Sir, ship. suppose uh, if suppose the ships are there, the ships are surrounding. Since the ships are uh, traveling there, if the whale comes up, it uh, they can be hurt, right? No, whale is like very big, so it won't really get hurt. That's what I'm like, telling you. Like the its size. If you take the small boating ships now, small small ships now, it will affect the ship itself because whale is. Yes, yeah, sir. But uh, big. But if you take the big yeah, container sir. ships and all now, it's Oops. very stable Oops. in the Oops. sea water. So it will cause a damage to the whale itself. It will cause some uh, scratches on the whale itself, on the body of the whale. Sir, and also, uh, if that tip, uh, repeats some uh, more times, it will die, right? No, it will have the sensors, right? But we have, sir, we watch on the top of. It has the skin oh, and all. The, its skin is really thick. So it will not damage easily. And one more thing is, whenever the whales are there inside yeah, the water, they can, the can also hurt. they can also sense the danger, right? How we are sensing the hotness or how coldness and all they can also sense the danger yeah. in front of them so the once it happen it will not come back again for the same danger thing right sir and also like we are able to see what's on the top sorry 
Sir, uh, sir, there is a ship or like a uh, sailing. Sir, it will be able to like uh, see the uh, uh, ship from uh, the, uh, like below the water. Yeah. So that's all about the dolphins and the whales. So this is all about the animals, respiration in the animals. We discussed about the human beings first thing. The next one is the cockroach, earthworm, frog, fish, the dolphins and the whales. These are the different types of living beings we discussed in Sir? the animals. Yeah. Sir, in South America, the lungfish is there, right? Sorry. Sir, like in uh, South American lampfish is there, right? Only one. Lampfish. No, sir, lampfish. Okay, lampfish. Okay. Yeah, sir, uh, it, it's there in South America, sir. Actually, sir, sir, is yeah. that located only in the South America, or we can see uh, in uh, surroundings also? Like uh, when when we go to there, we can see in the surroundings also. The thing is, some species will be there in a particular place itself. Right. Each and every species will not be in all over the world. Only some species will be there in this particular place. So it depends upon the type of climate. Because they can adapt to that climate. Yeah. So we cannot uh, predict that species will be there in the other place or not. Especially this type of fishes, because we cannot... Uh, we have not done the research properly under the water, right? Whatever the research we have done on the earth's yep. surface, we have not done the same amount of research on the water, under the water. Okay. So next one is the respiration in plants. So what is the food factory of plants? Sir, uh, leaves, 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 plants are leaves, there. Leaves, leaves, sir. Sir. The food factory is leaf and they will, uh, uh, they will, uh, they will, I mean, sir, they will uh, exchange with the plants of us in the tiny opening, sir, like a stomata. They will call it stomata. Very good. So the food factory of the plants from, is called uh, the From the leaves. Only the rest. Yes, okay. So leaves only is the main important part of the plant where the food is prepared with the help of the photosynthesis process. And also transpiration also taken place mostly from the leaves itself. We cannot see the transpiration. What is the meaning of transpiration? Loss of water from the plants is called as transpiration, right? So from the leaves, the water will escape into the atmosphere in the form of water vapor. There is only the transpiration. Okay. So with the help That's of the leaves, awesome. Sorry? Join. So... Hello. Yes, sir. The yeah, so voice was breaking, sir. There is yes. some internet connectivity issues there, but now can you hear me clearly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the food factor of the plants are the leaves. So with the help of the leaves only, it will prepare the food, it will um, undergo the respiration process. So first we'll study the different parts in the leaf. Then we'll start this topic, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what are the different parts? You can see it on the screen. The sir, garcels. tomato, garcels, uh, chloroplast. Chloroplast, tomato, chloroplast, tomato, 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 Okay. So first we'll see one video, then we'll come back to that, okay? Yes, sir. Can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we can see it.
What is this? Tomato. Whether you are reading the below? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not only the below one also, okay? Yes, sir. The shape inside the cells are the organelles. The bright globules at the bottom of the globally apparatus. The yellow spotted tubes are the endoplasmic. Rectilum stunned with the rhizosomes. So what is the meaning of chloroplast? Sir, it's actually a cell, uh, inside a cell you can say. And uh, that's where actually the photosynthesis takes place. And this chloroplast is actually present in like uh, the mid layer of the leaf, which is also known as mesophyll layer. And in this layer, all the xylem, phloem, and uh, this chloroplast are present. And the photosynthesis, uh, I mean, uh, the sunlight is actually trapped in this chloroplast uh, with the help of chlorophyll. And the xylem, it supplies water and photosynthesis takes place in this. At the end, after the food is made, phloem helps to uh, give the food to all parts of the uh, plant. Plant, good. Yes, sir. So you're about to enter the chloroplast. Inside, you see flat. Pancake like membrane structure called in thycaloids. This is where the light dependent reactions of the photosynthesis takes place to produce ATP. ATP. The cell's energy carrier, carrier molecule. Okay. That's the like pancake. Okay. Can you see here chloroplast? So yes, sir. Yes, sir. Green colored yes, pigment. Yes, sir. Yeah, so green colored. So, upon this, only the chemical reaction will take place in the presence of light. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me or not? Can you hear me? Uh, sure, now we can. Now it's okay, sir. Now it's okay. Read that line. So the green and uh, blue bush color structures are photosystems. Photo okay. Clusters of proteins that absorb light energy from the sun and help convert in, in it into the chemical energy that's stored in the bonds of the energy carrier molecules called ADP. Okay. So what are the green and bluish structures are there? These are the photosystems. So clusters of proteins that absorb light energy from the sun and help convert them into the chemical energy that are stored in the bond of energy carrier molecule collagen ATPs. ATP means what full form? What is the Sir, form adenosine ATP? triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate.
sorry so your video is little bit lagging no sir it's clear yes sir one minute to mathem on each side so yeah yeah wait a minute variation in plants plants also get energy through the process of respiration during this process most plants use atmospheric oxygen to break down glucose into carbon dioxide and water with the release of energy in higher plants oxygen and carbon dioxide move in and out of the roots and stems through the outer layers of the cells the majority of gas exchange takes place through small openings in the leaves called stomata on each side of the stomata is an oval shaped so what is the meaning of god cells and stomata sir god cells they surround the stomata and they are kidney shaped god cells so what is the role of god cells they like this uh, protect the stomata they like protect the and uh, when the stomata closes they like this cover it very good this well and cover god cells is just to protect the stomatal opening okay so from the stomata only the exchange of the gases and the exchange of this water vapor will be done god cell and several accessory cells they are together called as the stomatal apparatus let us see the opening and closing of the stomata in plants the gut cells regulate the opening and closing of the stomata under normal conditions the stomata remains open at daytime and closes at night time when the gut cells are full of water they expand and bulge out to open the stomata when they lose water they shrink then the stomata closes let's all about the respiration in the plants this will study this paragraph sorry one minute now can you see the screen yes sir okay can i read it sorry so can i read it yeah yeah sir. the leaves of the plant have tiny pores on their surface which is called the stomata the exchange of the gases uh, oxygen and uh, carbon dioxide in the leaves takes place through the stomata during the respiration the oxygen from the air enters into the leaf through the stomata and reaches inside all the cells of the leaf through diffusion while uh, car uh, while carbon dioxide produced during the respiration also diffuses from the leaf to the atmosphere through the stomata good so the leaves of the plants have the tiny pores that is called as the stomata so what are um, the exchange of the gases like uh, o2 co2 and the water vapor also will be done with the help of these small holes on the surface of the leaves um excuse me sir yeah rago sir can i tell what happens during respiration yeah 
Yes, sir. Uh, actually, during respiration, food is broken down, and I'm going to tell how the food is broken down. Actually, I mean, not the food is broken down. It is actually uh, oxidized. Actually, the food is being first oxygen is absorbed from the atmosphere, and this oxygen it splits the um, water molecule into H plus and OH minus ion, and oxygen from the OH minus ion it gets released into and the carbon dioxide uh, i mean and the hydrogen it combines with glucose to form c6h12o6 this is what basically happens during respiration very good okay so any doubts in the respiration in leaves uh, sir can i read respiration in roots wait 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 sir because today i study today in what chance Sri Vallabha speak and the Jayit only turn on their videos. Remaining people didn't turn on their videos. Okay, any doubts in the respiration leaves? No, sir. No, sir. Respiration in roots. So, can I read? Yeah, just you go through this paragraph once. Okay, we'll join within one or two minutes. Yes, sir. Sir, means no, I should not read, right? Don't leave the meeting. I'll join within two minutes, okay? Just go through that paragraph. Is it fine for everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, it's fine. Yeah. It's just go through that paragraph. Okay, finished. Yes. Yeah. So can I read? Yeah, that's okay, Mala. No, sir, I'm still reading. Sir, it was Shiva Pranav. Sir, Shiva Pranav asked not yet. Yeah, sorry, Shiva. You can continue. So can I read, sir? Can I? Wait, wait, wait. We'll give the Shiva, and afterwards we'll give it to you. Okay, don't worry. Everyone, will, everyone will get the chance. Yes, sir. Sir, can I read? Yeah. Root cells of the plant respire under the. They also need oxygen, respiration, and release energy for their own use. Root cells get 
oxygen from from the air present in the special between the root particles the plant roots have a large number sir soil particles it's a soil particles okay continue the so plant roots have a large number of tiny hair on them which are are called root hair oxygen from the air present in the soil particles into root hair and reaches to the cells of the root where utilize for the rest okay good so how the respiration group will happen in the roots if you take the top layer of the soil it will contain small small pores right through that pores the oxygen will enter into the soil so whatever the roots are there in the soil it will absorb the oxygen from the small pores present in the soil and it undergoes the respiration process so respiration is not only happen in the leaves it can also happen in the stem or it can also happen in the leaves and also in the roots so that's what explaining in the respiration in the roots and there is a diagram where it is showing the small loosely held soil particles along with the root hair and the air gap present between these soil particles okay so the next paragraph is there right it's all explained about the plant potted in the sorry plant present in the pot pots suppose if you take one plant in a pot and if you pour the water continuously what will happen it will die because what is the main reason due to the deficiency of oxygen present sir because soil. plants have a uh... Tomato even present in their roots. There will be small open. See, that's not the reason. I cannot say the tomatoes, okay, in the roots. Sir, can I tell, sir? Actually, what happens is that the roots breathe through tiny pores present in the soil only, right? And if we pour water, the molecules of the water they will occupy that uh, the place of the pores. so uh, there is no oxygen for the plant the plant cannot breathe the roots cannot breathe and uh, if the roots die the whole plant dies so the plant starts to respire anaerobically now when it starts to respire anaerobically uh, alcohol content is produced and due to that the plant dies good if you water sorry yeah Yeah, sir. Pratik. Yeah, sir. Any doubts? No, no, sir. No, sir. I was. Sir, and even when they respire anaerobically, carbon dioxide is also released, right? Now, when the carbon dioxide is released, they should at least utilize it, right? Now, they need. Uh, Uh, they are un, um, they are uh, they will not be able to use that CO two because the soil is not good. So they won't be able to use that CO two, and uh, they can uh, they will not be able to perform photosynthesis. So um, uh, because during night there will be no sunlight also. So that's why they say that we should not sleep under trees during night. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If the uh, soil gets flooded also, then the water flows uh, uh, will up to the air and. Uh, Uh, cover the spaces of the soil so that the roots cannot obtain the air and they get damaged causing the plant die so uh, even the roots also can respire so this is the root good listen carefully suppose if you have taken the pot and you have taken one plant in that if you water continuously what will happen now during the watering whatever the small small pores are present in the soil it will be closed up completely it will become a closed then there is no space for the air to enter into the soil so when there is no air inside the soil the roots cannot respire or cannot take the oxygen from yeah. the soil so what will happen if there is no respiration happen now so they will die the plants or the roots will affect so it undergoes the anaero anaerobic respiration Means without the oxygen that respiration will take place that yeah. is only the anaerobic respiration during anaerobic respiration what will form Alcoholic products will be formed, right? So these alcoholic but products will affect will, uh, the plant, which will make the plant to die. That is the main reason. But like energy enables them to take the nutrition from the soil and emit uh, the carbon dioxide. Plants, yeah. Okay, 
So these are the so reason we, for the human will be when anaerobic uh, respiration happens, then lactic acid is formed. So it will form the lactic acid, right? Again, there is no oxygen to convert lactic acid into the carbon dioxide or to break the lactic acid. So what will happen? Yes. Automatically, um, if the acid content is more, now the plant they will affect the growth, right? That's what is yes, studied in the acids and bases. If the soil is too acidic in nature, there, there is no healthy growth of the plant. If the soil is too basic, also there is no healthy growth. Yes, sir. We have to maintain the proper pH yes, for the healthy growth of the plants, right? In the same way, if you sleep under some plants in the night time, generally photosynthesis will not take place. So what will happen? The plants cannot use the CO2 gas during the night time. So whenever it is not using the CO2 gas, if we inhale that CO2 gas continuously throughout the night, it will cause the suffocation as well as they feel the excess weight in our chest and will also undergoes the fatal diseases. That's what I explained in the last paragraph. And the exchange of the gas is also studied in the photosynthesis process itself. So any doubts in that? So is the chapter completed? Yeah, yeah. With this we have finished this chapter. So respiration in the organisms. So, so this week we will have test on this chapter. Yeah, this so week we have, have the test. And uh, Wednesday you have the test, right? Not about this weekend. Wednesday you have one test. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, I didn't inform in the group, right? So Wednesday you have the test. Have now? Not now. Wednesday you have the test. In the test okay. you have the complete chapter. Okay, but uh, whenever I'm connecting the test during the weekdays, nobody is attending the test. Only a few people are joining the test. This time, I want everyone to attend the test. Okay. Especially class 7, there are a lot of students are missing for the test. I don't know what is the reason. Suppose if you have the class at 5 p.m., just you can write the test after the class. The test link will be activated up to night 11 p.m., right? So you can write the test and you can sleep. Okay. Are you understanding? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. This Wednesday at 5 p.m. you have the test. Sorry, we cannot keep on the Sunday only, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. next week onwards I will keep it on Sunday only. This week onwards, not the next week also. This week you have another test on the Sunday. We will check it on the Sunday itself I will keep. Okay. Both are 10th lesson. The same topic will be there, or we will see tomorrow if I start the new topic, I'll connect the test on that, or else we have the same topic test. Till now, we didn't write the test on this topic, right? No, sir, we wrote, sir. We wrote already? Uh, yes, sir, we wrote this. We wrote the test on this topic. Okay, okay. So, any doubts in this topic? So, what we discussed in the respiration? No, sir, organisms? we don't have any doubts. So, no, first sir. one is the types no, of respiration. So respiration is exactly opposite of photosynthesis process, which is taken place in the plants, right? So next we discuss about the types of respiration. What is aerobic respiration? What is anaerobic respiration? No, sir, we did not wrote sir, this, uh, this lesson test. Okay, no problem. We'll connect the test on Wednesday and as well as on the Sunday. I will inform you what is the portion and all before the day itself. But for Wednesday test, this is a portion only. This chapter is a portion. Okay, so first you discuss yes, about sir. aerobic. Aerobic means what? Break down the glucose in the presence sir, of aerobic oxygen. means uh, it will. Uh, so can I tell what is aerobic respiration? Wait, sir, aerobic sir, break down the glucose. Wait, sir, no, sir. Aerobic respiration will take place in the presence. I'll call you one by one. Wait. Satvika. Yes, sir. What is aerobic respiration? Sir, in aerobic respiration, the presence of oxygen should be required. The glucose breakdown will happen in the presence of oxygen. Oxygen. Good. So, whether aerobic respiration is um, will give more energy or anaerobic respiration will give more energy? No. I will call you one uh, by one. Aerobic. Aerobic, good. Next, Nikhil. Nikhil. Nikhil, are you there?
Nikhil. Can you hear me or not? Go ahead. Yes, sir. What is anaerobic respiration? Anaerobic respiration mostly occurs during the short times to, due to temporary deficiency of oxygen. Temporary deficiency of oxygen? Yes, sir. Is it correct, Ishan? I'm sorry, uh, uh, sorry, uh, sir, sorry, I wasn't able to hear you. Can you repeat that, sir? What is anaerobic respiration? Sir, anaerobic respiration is respiration no, where oxygen is not involved. Very good. It's not efficiency of oxygen. In this process, completely oxygen will not be involved at all. That is a yes, anaerobic respiration. Sir, I was like temporary deficiency of oxygen. It also means that... Uh, the not... respiration which is carried out in the absence of oxygen, is called anaerobic respiration. Yes, sir. And the reason anaerobic respiration happens when we do exercise, sir, um, is because we do we don't have the uh, ability to take in enough oxygen to provide with uh, to provide us with the oxygen, the fast oxidation of blood. So, like the energy that we have gets over, so we need more oxygen to provide more energy to do the uh, like the, uh, mm -hmm. the exercise. Okay, good. And this kind of respiration in, is in the oxygen and the human being and animals are categorized in the aerobic respiration only. Okay, good. So next one. So in aerobic respiration also, the humans are categorized, but in a short period of time. Because yeah, that's what Rohit said. Rohit said the definition only for the human beings, like the temporary deficiency of oxygen. But aerobic yes, respiration is mostly taken place in industries like yeast and all, right? But the yes, yes, and all. Okay. Sri yes, they use yeast for producing uh, alcohol or beer. Or but wine. even it, uh, sir, uh, even the cells partially break down the glucose to produce the lactic, uh, lactic acid, sir. Yeah. Sir, and also, the, the, acid again sir, and also the accumulation of the lactic acid causes muscular cramps. If accumulation of the lactic acid is more in the body, also it will affect our body. Yeah, so because we get muscular cramps and uh, our, uh, we can get other uh, forms. Okay. So, next one is um, Srivalabha. Srivalabha. Yes, sir. What is, yes, the sir. what is the percentage of CO2 during the inhalation and the exhalation? So, percentage. What is the percentage of CO2 during the inhalation and the exhalation? Sir, it is. Did you understand my question or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, sir, is it 60? Sixty one six or six zero? Six zero. Six zero. No, no. Okay, okay. restrict. No, sorry. Mahavir. Maha Mahavir, what is the answer? Wait, wait. Restrict. Mahavir. Yes, sir. What is the percentage of CO2? Carbon dioxide gas during the inhalation and the exhalation process in case of human beings. I don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. Ritik Nimala. Yes, what is the answer? I don't know. Where is Ritvik ready? Ritvik ready? Yes, sir. What is the answer? Then you don't know. Where is Harini? Not exactly, but it will be maximum 18. 18? 
so when we take in twenty uh, percent, we take in, uh, and uh, when we release carbon dioxide. Uh, sir, during inhalation. Sir, I think four percent. Yeah, Satvika. Sir, sir, during inhalation zero point four percent and exhalation four point four. I remember like this. I don't remember much, sir. Good. Excuse me, sir. Sir, I think yeah, inhalation will be twenty percent. Inhalation will be twenty percentage. Is that possible? Sir, sir, oxygen okay. gas. Sir, twenty-one uh, percent of oxygen is inhaled, and um, zero point zero four percent of carbon dioxide is inhaled, sir. And uh, in exhaled air, also sixteen percent is exhaled, and four percent of carbon dioxide is exhaled. Okay, sir. So, Raghu, good. The correct value is four point four percent. Is accept that one. Oh, it's four point four. Okay, sir. Sir, we can round it off four to four only, right? That's exact I values. Okay, sir. Yeah, I got some disturbance. Is there background? Okay. So can you see the tabular column? That's what I said. It's very very important. Percentage of O two and percentage of CO two during the inhalation and the exhaled air. Okay. Okay, sir. So in the in the inhal in the inhalation air, if the percentage of O two is twenty five percentage, CO two percentage is only zero point zero four percentage, but in the exhaled air. Sixteen point four percentage is only O two, and four point four percentage is only the CO two. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So breathing another animal's cockroach. I think you have given one homework on this. You have to find out the different animals, their blood type, what is the color of blood, is it cold blood or the warm blood? Oh, oh yes, sir. Uh, sir, you told uh, to write the cold blooded animals and warm blooded animals, right? Yeah, that's what. I have done so the homework. Frog is a cold blooded animal. Frog is a cold blooded animal. No, just uh, about the different types of animals and their types of blood. Did you wrote or not? What is the color of that blood? So you ask us to write like if a cockroach was a co like cold blooded or warm blooded. No, no, no. Cockroach. Next blood, whether it will contain the hemoglobin or not. Then what is the color of that blood? The last one is it cold blooded or the warm blooded animal? This and all, I ask it to write as a tabular column. Sir, can I say cold blooded animals? Wait. Animals, uh, um, wait, wait, wait! I've done the homework completely first. First, wait. Have done the homework. This tabular column. How many have you done? No one. But today we will do, sir. Today we will do, and we will tell you the answers tomorrow. Good. Sir, I know the answers, but I did not draw it. So Just do it in the classwork notes. Whatever the homework I am giving for you should be there in the classwork notes. So can you do the tabular form again? You showed that. Yeah. About the CO two gas. No, sir. How to oh. find cold blooded? Okay, it's no. Okay. So just it is the tabular column. First column is about the animals. Second column, blood. Okay. Third one is. So our second column, blood, which contain hemoglobin or not, either S or no. Third one. No, you said, sir. You actually you said only uh, write the cold blood or no. No, no, no. I have given all these details also. The third column is about the color of the blood. If hemoglobin is there, no, it will be red color. If hemoglobin is not there, no, it will be different color. What is the color of the blood? The fourth one is whether it is a cold blood or the warm blood. Sir, I have a doubt. Yeah. Do cold-blooded animals have hemoglobin because their uh, blood color is blue? Hemoglobin, if this is there, blood color will not be blue, right? Yeah, so so it doesn't have hemoglobin. 
no 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 okay sir so sir cellular respiration won't take place cellular respiration won't take place in those uh, cold blooded animals cellular respiration will take place right blood so, is what then, in the blood only hemoglobin will be there the blood will not carry the oxygen to the cell but other parts will carry the oxygen to the cell okay sir no sir. hemoglobin will be there in the blood that blood will carry the oxygen to the different cells in the body if hemoglobin is not there in the blood then blood will not act as a transporter of oxygen the other organisms will act other parts will act as a transporter okay sir okay any doubts no sir no sir complete the homework and with this we finished this chapter also so next we'll start the other chapter like um, production in plants production in plants okay production. so next we'll start with the light also light also we'll come to start reproduction in plants yeah tomorrow we'll start the reproduction in plants only okay okay thank you everyone have a nice day thank you sir have a lovely day thank you sir bye have a nice day bye bye